salutations my dearest friends my name is Samantha and today I'm going to be talking all about cozy mysteries Hello, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about cozy mysteries, a cozy mystery 101, if you will. So anytime I talk about cozy mysteries here on my channel, I always get asked, what is a cozy mystery? How is it different from like horror and thrillers? And where do I start? This video is going to be an all-encompassing cozy mystery video where I talk about what the genre is, some of my favorites, where I think you should start. I don't really read romance here on my channel, but I love cozy mysteries. They have my whole heart. And if you didn't know, I do have a cozy mystery book club, shameless plug, this book club to be very accessible and easy. So we only read four books out of the year and they are based off the seasons. So spring, summer, fall, and winter. Now for fall, we are reading The Pint of No Return by Ellie Alexander. If you want to join that cozy mystery book club, we would love to have you. And we do have an Instagram where we make most of our announcements. I will leave all of that down below. First up, what is a cozy mystery? Whenever I describe it, I always like to say it is as if the mystery genre genre and Hallmark movies had a baby. Just got together and made this genre. As the title suggests, there is a mystery in these books, but the murder is happening off page. It basically follows an amateur sleuth that is trying to figure out what is going on in the town, trying to figure out who committed the murder. It really leans into cozier aspects like character relationships, the town setting, and also really fun tropes. Nothing really gory or graphic about cozy mysteries. There's no jump scares. This is perfect for someone who maybe really likes murder podcasts or the thriller genre, but wants something a little bit more cozy. No, I keep using the word cozy, but it is in the name after all. It's basically a subgenre of crime fiction, but it it is a lot more light and comforting and in some books can be very humorous as well depending on the writing style. It became really really popular when Agatha Christie started writing books like Murder on the Orient Express, even Death on the Nile. You have a historical cozy mystery, you can have a paranormal cozy mystery, the options are kind of endless. The characteristics are that the murder and any descriptive scenes are going to be happening off page. It follows an amateur sleuth who is trying to figure out the murder and is usually set in a very small town but not always. Mysteries tend to be very long series. You'll find some with like 12, 13, 14, maybe even more books in a series. It's not just about following the mystery, you are also following the amateur sleuth's personal journey. That be romantic relationships, personal relationships with people in the town, if they own a business and you kind of see the growth of that. Things about cozy mysteries are the tropes, the covers, the puns. Also well done. They have some of the cutest covers, some of the cutest titles, and personally I love all the tropes that you find in cozy mysteries. Some of my my favorites are baking cozy mysteries especially when they have recipes in them and I also love witchy paranormal cozy mysteries I feel like those are perfect to read for the fall time I feel like this is a genre that is perfect for the fall time because you can just cuddle up with your favorite drink and read a good cozy mystery like it has had a resurgence recently for books like Finley Donovan is killing it also books like arsenic and adobo although some people in the genre could argue that those don't quite classify as cozies but we're not gonna get into that. That's an overview of the genre. If you're looking for more content creators who talk about cozies and do it so, so well, I would recommend Courtney from Courtagonist. Oh my goodness, she is the best. Wanna stay up to date with new releases. She does occasional videos where she just talks about new cozies. She also has this fun series on her channel where she's reading the Bake Shop Mystery Series, which is a baking cozy that has recipes inside of it. And she talks about the book and then picks a recipe and makes that recipe. And it is so much fun to watch. Of course, you need to follow Spencer from Intentionally Book like I said we do host a cozy mystery book club together if we're looking for specific recommendations she is your girl pretty much any trope that cozy mystery has she has a video for it so make sure to follow those lovely ladies All right let's talk about some favorites shall we my first recommendation and pretty much the one I recommend to anyone who's getting started into the genre is the bake shop mystery series by Ellie Alexander I am obsessed with this series. I think this series is like quintessential cozy mystery, okay? Ellie Alexander has truly mastered her craft and I highly, highly recommend every book in this series. First book is called Meet Your Baker. It follows Jules, who is a pastry chef on a cruise ship. It's a marital problems, so she ends up moving back to her hometown in Oregon to help her mother with their family bake shop. But when she gets there, bum, 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 
there's a murder and she needs to figure out what's happening. The setting of this town is divine. We get the baking aspect, but this town is well known for their Shakespeare festival. Theater there that does all types of Shakespeare's plays. So many Shakespeare references in this series as well. I adore all of the side characters. I love reading about all the recipes and of course the mysteries are so well written and well thought out. I recently did a reading vlog where I was catching up on this series so I'll leave that down below. The next one that I want to recommend is Cookie Dough or Die by Virginia Lowell. This is the first book in her Cookie Cutter Shop Mystery Series. This is our amateur sleuth Olivia who owns a shop called the Gingerbread House. A shop that specializes in selling like cookie cutters and other baking necessities. It's one of the local business owners and also one of Olivia's best customers ends up getting found dead. Who ended up dead had a lot of money that a lot of her relatives and friends feel entitled to but Olivia is actually left a huge sum of money as well as some antique cookie cutters so she is seen as the prime suspect for being in this woman's will gaining so much money from her death teams up with her best friend to clear her name and figure out who murdered this woman it's really fun because she has a hilarious best friend that helps her throughout the series another one that i love is if walls could talk by juliet blackwell this one is a home renovation cozy our heroine takes vintage victorian homes and renovates them it's assigned to this particular project and when she goes to the house she finds someone dead and what's really interesting about this cozy is that it is paranormal she sees the ghost of the person who died but they cannot remember what happened the hours leading up to their death and who killed them always been able to see and talk to ghosts or people from the afterlife uses that to help this person find the killer so that they could peacefully move on if you are a romance reader trying to get into cozy mysteries this one does have a romance and so does meet your baker again they're very subtle and they kind of grow throughout the series but there can be romances in cozy mysteries then the last one i want to recommend is homicide and hardcover by kate carlisle this is a bookish themed cozy mystery this one our heroine restores vintage and classic books and she ends up finding her mentor dead but he is clutching a classic book in his hand it's rumored to be cursed everyone who gets ownership of this book ends up dead she needs to figure out what is going on with this legend if it is true and also who killed her mentor have another hilarious sidekick best friend in this book her best friend in this book is so freaking funny and i really do enjoy it there's so many more that i could talk about but if you are new to cozy mysteries those are the four that i would recommend to you it's the fall time i do have quite a few on my own tbr so these are the ones i'm reading right now the first one is the socialist guide to murder by sk golding this one is a historical cozy mystery i also really want to read it takes a witch by heather blake because this is a witchy cozy mystery and i feel like that is perfect for the fall season okay so that is pretty much an overview of all things cozy i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know what your favorite cozy mysteries are or if you're new to the genre let me know what you are thinking of starting with so as always thank you for taking time out of your day to spend time with me it means the world to me i hope you guys are all staying happy and healthy and i will see you in my next video bye